welcome to the Overflow Podcast at thisisoutcry.com. My name is Joaquin. I'm Jake. And we are super happy to be here. We got just some fun stuff to talk about, some kind of neato stuff. We got some really exciting news. And uh, then we have uh, today's topic, intro inspection. Is that it, right? Did I say it right? No. What, what is what? that? What did you just say? Intro inspection. Oh, you were saying it like a Rican. Okay. Yes. Well, I mean, <coughs> I can say it introspection. I said it like a Rican. <laughs> intro inspection. I said it. I said it like another Rican. <laughs> I said it like an island Rican. Well, no, either way, it works for me, right? And so that's it. So uh, with all of that being gobbledygooked, what's up, Jay? How you doing, sir? Gobbledy what? Gobbledygooked. It's a uh, word. Gobbledygook. Okay. I'm chilling. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted? Why are you exhausted, Jay? Because I spent all afternoon walking around that aquarium. Oh, you were swimming in the Georgia Aquarium? I, I was. I was swimming with the whale You were like swimming with the fishes? <laughs> I was Aquaman. It's like, ah, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> swimming with the, the fishies. <laughs> with the, the fishies. I don't, I don't know. What, I don't even know what kind of accent that's supposed to be. So, ah, so you went to the Georgia Aquarium. Oh, this was your first time there? It's my how, first time there. How was it? It was Amazing, amazing! Like it was amazing. Like no lie, I know I <laughs> I said that as a, sounded like a joke, but it was it was amazing. It was like, it truly was amazing. Right that that tunnel. Yeah, that's the coolest part. Like right? that tunnel. There's two really cool parts for me. The tunnel. Mm -hmm. You can just sit, stand on the. The, on the George Jetson walkway? The the walkalator. Right. The no walkalator. Um it's so funny. I got on that. I started singing the Jetsons theme song. <laughs> Nobody knew what I was talking yeah, no, about. No one, no one that. <laughs> um yeah, I just just seen like the, the manta rays swim over and just the, the sharks. And the whale sharks and, and the other stuff. sharks. Yeah. And, yeah, dude, it's like and the fish. Yeah. And the thing is that you see it in pictures, you see it in video, but it's nothing like experience experience right. it in real life. Right, and it was cool too because you can get off of the walk later, and just stand there and just right. look. Yeah, that's just, what that's what we ended up doing. And you're just like, oh. Like the the best part was, was being, like, his eyes open in complete astonishment and screaming out, "It's so giant!" Right. When he saw the whale shark <laughs> pass overhead, right, because it would pass overhead, but it was far. But there was one one of them because I think there were like three or four of them passed like directly over the tunnel. Right, so it was. It, it was kind of scary. Like, right. no lie, it was kind of scary. It was as close as it was, it was going to be. <laughs> right. And he was like, it's so giant. And then when we left, he kept saying, I want to go back to my whale shark. Well, nice. It was... Um, yeah, that's cool. And then the, then the auditorium room with the big glass that's, like, on the side of the tank. So it's that huge glass window. Right, right, right. The same, the same tank. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can kind of go in and see. That's very, very dope. Now, I remember the first, the first underwater tunnel like that I, I went on was at SeaWorld in Orlando, and it was sharks. I think it was all sharks, right? Swimming through there. It was like their shark exhibit, and they're all swimming through. But here's the kicker. It went in. Like, you were almost, like, underground. Right. All around you. You were So it was, so it was like, it's like if you're in the middle of it, if you're in the middle of it, and you're thinking to yourself, if this thing busts, I'm living Jaws, the movie. <laughs> like it's over. It's over with. <laughs> I'm done. But uh, wow, that's cool. I uh, so so you did the uh, the aquarium, and you guys had it's fun being enjoyed. It. That's awesome. Anything else exciting happened this week? Being enjoyed it, and the in laws enjoyed it. So anything else? Anything other? Any other fun stuff? Um, I hung out with. Ah, oh, hold on. Darn headphones. <laughs> I hung what? out with um, the Legacy Knights worship team on Monday. All right, cool. Um, I think. At Lepardo's? No, Lepardo's was closed. That's We went to Big Pie. Huh. Because Lepardo's was closed. For the night? For the whole day. It's like it's closed Mondays. Oh. It's like, it's weird. I'm, mm. trying to, I'm trying to think if I ever went there on a Monday, but whatever. Yeah. So we went to Big Pie, which is. Another good, it's good enough pizza place. Um, yeah, we just sat, fellowship for a bit, um, 
praying, praying that they all pass their um, their finals. Yeah, it's too late for that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I, I prayed that night. I've been praying since they first told me. Oh, because their so, finals are coming up. No, they, they were last week. They were this past week. This past week. So you know. Yeah. It was on Monday. We met. Yeah, we still, prayed. still a little too late for that if they've been studying. No, no, they've been, <laughs> they've been studying. That's the thing. Like they've been studying. You so. know, because let's be real, right? Because we both are guilty of it. You know, yeah. when you show up for that test, you're like, Lord, help me remember these questions. You, you know, I asked that. Like I asked that. Yeah, I'll pray for you. Of course, I'll pray for you. You know, we need you to pass those. You need you to pass those finals. But did you study? Yeah, have you been, <laughs> like, have, have you have you been, been studying? studying? And yes, they have. So oh, okay, it's, well, that's, um, <laughs> that's awesome. And you were meeting with them because because on the oh right yeah that's not, well that's, that's what you call a segue. It's a good segue. That's what you call a segue. That's what you call a segue in the business, Jay. I got thro- I got thrown off because that's not where I met with them. But um, sure. Um, on Friday, this coming Friday, the eleventh, the eleventh, we'll, May eleventh, right, two thousand eighteen, at eight o'clock. At 8 p.m. will be our second, second. <laughs> our second Legacy Nights. Yes, it'll be the second Legacy Nights of the year and ever. Of the year, yeah, and ever. Um, and, um, so if you're in the Atlanta area, we um, come on up to Ackworth. Go to... We, I, have called this one As in Heaven. Uh, mainly just, you know... Even though we're on Earth? No, that's why. Boom, boom. That's why on earth as in heaven. I know, Jay. Right, praying and seeking. This is what we call you killing my joke. No, this is what I. This is what you call <laughs> your jokes aren't funny. No, uh, my jokes are <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> you can ask anybody. Right, worship as in heaven, live as in heaven. Right, um, the Bible talks about that a lot, but I don't think, um, not that I can recall that it's ever been like unpacked in a way that it can be understood. So, yeah. So yeah, so we're really excited. Um, eight o'clock, seven thirty. Eight, eight o'clock. So come in at seven. No, come in. Come, eight o'clock. Come, come at seven. We'll start at eight o'clock. No, come at seven thirty. We'll start. No, you got to come in at you got. If we're starting at eight, you got to be there like seven, seven thirty. <laughs> come in at eight. Come in at eight. We'll start like eight thirty. That's too late. It's not too late. Listen, out there. <laughs> listen no. to what Joaquin says. Don't listen, listen to Jay. Listen to what I say because it's in my house and I don't get home until like right before 8 o'clock. That's okay. The in-laws <laughs> are there. Your mother-in-law will, will feed those kids. Whoever shows up, she'll make them open-faced sandwiches. She'll make them some pierogies. Shoot. Show up for the pierogies. Stay for the worship. <laughs> Go for the pierogies. Stay for the worship. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there won't be any pierogies. No, there won't be pierogies, unfortunately. I wish. Is that because you just haven't asked? No, I haven't asked, but she's not gonna sit there and make pierogies from scratch. Oh no, I I don't I didn't mean for the worship thing. I just meant for you. Oh no no, I meant specifically for the worship thing. Oh no, I'm saying just in general because I'll come in. No no no, there'll be. Um, I like pierogies. I gotta. Yeah, I know you do. You gotta <laughs> clean out. I'll be cleaning out the the grill this oh, week. Oh, grill and chill. Because we need a grill and chill while they're here. We gotta have a grill and chill first one of the of the summer or the yep. spring summer spring fall. Uh, Whatever. Weather wise, it's already summer, right? So, because we in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. uh, tomorrow, tomorrow will be in the thirties. No, actually, I checked all week because I actually uh, I washed my car for like the first time in <laughs> in months. Right. Because right. Because for the first time this whole week, there's no rain. There's nothing. Yeah. But, <laughs> nothing but sun. So, woo. Yeah, that reminds me. That I told, re- <laughs> I told Junie, hey Junie, man, you're such a great son. And he was like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> Get your butt up. Let's go. You gotta you gotta vacuum my car. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of this video I saw, uh, where this it was a it was storming yeah. outside, yeah. rain, mm-hmm. like coming sideways. It was storming, and this guy was out there washing his car in the storm. Hi, right, listen, pretty good idea, right? If it's warm enough, and it's raining like that, wash your car. But then he was taking the hose and rinsing it off. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he was rinsing it. That was the so best. Dumb. That was the That's best. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. That I'm was so the done. best. So uh, yeah, so we got yeah, so we got legacy nights coming up. Um, you know what? Do you want to go ahead and talk about the the thing we've been working on? 
we're going to be working on this next uh, several weeks as we get ready to launch. Go ahead and make the announcement. Or do you want to hold off on that? Ooh, what's the announcement? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what you thought about. What's the announcement? Oh, okay, so check this out. Um, Jay? Jeez. Check this out. This That's why we have production meetings to start off with. I, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jay doesn't pay attention because he's on his phone the whole time looking at Instagram and texting. I'm not looking at Instagram. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at other verses that'll that'll back up what we're teaching about tonight. Um, or today. Cheese and But guys. check this out, son. Yo, so um, many, well, if if you're a regular listener, then you know that we share a uh, friendship and a relationship with the people over at New Release today. Yes. To the I mean, down to the point that now our that, that songs of the day and our videos right. are curated from the new release today dot wow. com from that site, right? So New Release Today is going to start a podcast network and will be the first podcast on their brand new podcast network, yep. which means which means if we had like sound effect stuff, this would be the drum roll spot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> which means that the Overflow podcast through new re- the new release today podcast like network, cat. right? <laughs> I'll, I'll stop. Will be syndicated nationwide. Right? Yes. Yeah, nationwide, across across the country. So um Will will be so now. Pretty soon, you're gonna hear. You're gonna hear. You know, this is the overflow. The overflow podcast, part of the NRT podcast network. Yes, we're right. S- so we're super excited. Super excited. Shout out to um, new release today. To new release today to Kevin. And right, that was like the best phone call. Yes, that we had, and the easiest question I've ever had to answer. <laughs> Yeah, normally Jay would reach out to me and go, uh, hey, listen, so blah, 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 blah. And so this opportunity th- came yeah. up. So no, this time he was like, hey, by the way. Right. <laughs> by the so way. It's funny because he told me, well, you know, talk to Joaquin and see what he has to say, you know, and then get back to me. I was like, oh, no. I was like, no. This <laughs> is like, no. Trust me, Kevin. We, we, we're good. Joaqu- yeah. Joaquin yeah. says yes. I'm not going to say no. like, I'm texting him right now to tell him, what, to tell, <laughs> to tell him what's going to happen from now on. Yeah, so um yeah, so be on the lookout. Uh there's uh you know, um we're gonna you know, we got some things we we're, we're gonna we gotta work on and we gotta, you know, straighten out um on our end and, and whatever. So definitely be paying attention because you know, we're hoping hoping soon. Right. And um just just to put this out there, right? Not that it not that not that I we need to. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. This does not mean that the Overflow podcast is gonna become like a boring scripted, you know, podcast. We're still gonna be boring. We're still gonna be super. We'll, we'll we, still be unscripted. We'll, we'll, we'll still be unscripted. <laughs> we'll still be a bunch of highly opinionated Puerto Ricans. That's all we know how to be, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, Whether right or wrong, <laughs> that's what we got. That's it. Right. It'll still be this organic, conversational type yes. of podcast. Right, so you know there are just some things, and uh, you know full transparency as always. There's there are some things with timing that we need to get down. Right, right. right. Timing and and there's just you know things that we got to work on. And and you know uh, if you were to listen to the very first podcast we did, and you listen to oh, listen, listen to the first five, and then you know yeah, listen and then to l- us now. listen to us now, you'll be like, oh wow, that's that's a that's a little bit better. So now we're just trying to get <laughs> even a little bit better. Um, <laughs> Because little by little, little you know, by little. because uh, this, you know, listen, right? Uh, this is a great opportunity for us. So we, you know, we're just trying to line up our ducks because we want to do the best. Um, we want to do the best that we can. Correct. You know, we're not trying to just to say, "Oh, hey, we're just gonna." You're gonna keep throwing this together throw, and whatever. Throwing this down, yeah. We're you know we're trying to do the best we can. So we're working on some things so that we can, yeah, just make it. I mean, just make it the best overflow podcast. Uh, that we can be like Jay was saying, you know, there's just certain things we got to tighten up uh, with timing and you know this, that, or the other. So we're super excited, <laughs> you know, be on the lookout because our regular listeners know that we, you know we can go off we can, some rants. Yeah, we can just we can just get which is rants are fine, <laughs> but our rants tend to come off of something completely unplanned, <laughs> <sighs> much much like life. <laughs> um, 
so yeah, we're su- super excited about that. Now, the other thing um, that, I, that I just want to bring up, just because uh, it's very cool. So this this week, um, the pastor of the church that we've been visiting, that we've been going to, uh, Encounter Church in Ackworth. Ackworth, yes. that's Because they're like right on that. They're like right on the line. So No, no, we're on the line. Well. No, I'm saying like where we live is on the line. Right. So them, they're already Ackworth. Oh, they're, well, pff. <laughs> they're like, it's like. Well, they're they're over the line, like even like some of my jokes are over the line, just even, barely. Even <laughs> even the road they're on is Ackworth Due West. Is it Ackworth Due West? I yeah. thought it was Ackworth Kennesaw or something. But anyway, <laughs> the point is that uh, Count Church, where we've been going, um, the pastor was in Cuba last week. Uh, he went for a few days um, because they're they're partnered up with this organization to plant churches. Um. They went over there in to, Cuba. They went over there to meet pastors and the uh, well to meet the pastor of the church that Encounter actually had a hand in planting out there, right? So that's um, um and so it's pretty dope. Yeah, it was real interesting what he was what he what he shared with us about you know like them be able to have like what constituted a uh, a proper size of a church for Cuba for Cuba before they will get in trouble with the law. It's all fascinating. And um <clears throat> so we, we say that to just, you know, if if you pray for, for our you know, you know, we always like to bring things up, things are going on with other believers all over the world. Um as always, you know, if you remember, pray pray for those brothers and sisters in Cuba because um they're allowed to meet, but then there's like all kinds of restrictions in how they can meet. You know all kinds of laws. Um, and so it's like, you know, it can't be, what was it, 40 members? Yeah, 40 members. Yeah, if the, so if the church grows to 41, they got to split, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. So if somebody get, goes in pregnant and has a baby, that's the 41th person, the baby's got to go off and start its own church. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it has to be well, 40 con Dios. and um, how many, how many people diapers. showed up? Um, what was that? How many people showed up to the, to their first service? I think they said it was like. 200? Like 200. And then they had to break off into, and he said they ended up having to do service outside and yeah. um, like in the middle of the street, just having yeah. church while cars are driving and everything. So um, it's like really exciting stuff to hear and, and, and to remember to pray for our brothers and sisters. We're, we hope to have him come and share with us some more about his experience there, things he learned. And, um, and the pastor, uh, Hunter, he was also a missionary. Right. Um, in Mexico. He was, a, he was a, a missionary in Mexico for eight years, which is why he speaks perfect like, Spanish. Like, really good Spanish. Like, <laughs> right? great Spanish. Like he speaks perfect Spanish. Very, like, every once, you can kind of hear the accent a little bit every once in a while, the American accent. Yeah, yeah, but most, but, but it, mostly yeah, it's, it's the Mexican it's accent. It's really, really good. Right? So, uh, yeah, we hope to have him join us because uh, we love talking to missionaries and just get him to share. That and, uh, you know. He's, and he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. He's uh, pretty funny. Um. And, and he and he and he preaches how how me and Jay like to hear preachers preach. Like he don't hold back, <laughs> not at all. So that's always exciting. Um, all right. So we got to as always. We always do like to do a couple of news stories that we kind of find, uh, you know, that we find interesting. Oh, send me that link. Which one? The. Oh, which one? The secret church one. This. I know I, I, I sent it to you, but I. Oh, okay. So we text each other so much that. <laughs> it's hard to find anything. That yeah, that's why um I use this app called Pocket. Right. I have to Which uh that app when I when I open the article, then I can save it. Um I have no idea. Did you send it to me? I'm not sure if I sent it to you or to the group text. Probably to the group text. Uh, let's see. No, that's not it. And yeah, potentially. Okay. See? Yes, group text. Found it. Oh, you found it? Yeah. yeah. Again. See, this is the kind of stuff that we need to, like, get better at. Again, again, we text each other so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of stuff This is the kind of stuff I was talking about earlier. Especially the group text. Now, the thing is, um, one of the, you know, Joaquin likes to talk about news and news stuff. Because like he's always online, <laughs> finding things. Well, I think did I find this or did you find no, this? No, I, I I found it because it came across. 
uh, at work. Right. right. The job, the job picked it up. So and don't be just like, putting this on me. I mean, on our tag, it does say news. Yeah, because you and pop culture. Because well, you, you, can you say, asked to put that. Listen, Remember, I put movies. We're about to have a fight on there. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Jokora said no. Um. Well, no. You know why we need to talk about new stuff? Because we can't. We can't be like a bunch of people we know that just don't know nothing about what's going on. Um. <laughs> Very true. Uh, so no, but this is uh, so Jay found but this, this. But this was dope. This is a dope story. You know, like I said, we, and that's what you know with Jay. You know, whatever. But we, you know, it's about trying to find kind of interesting stuff, not the, the same old, you know, same old, same old. But this is very cool. The article uh, was on Fox News: Ancient Christian ruins discovered under former ISIS-held territory. And and, s- and just um, just to add, right to you know, as a, as an opener, um, if you. If you watch the news, if you listen to the news, right, there was a time where ISIS was taking over a lot of a lot of um, Syria, a lot of territory no, northern Syria. in northern Syria, and any non-Muslim things they found, they would destroy. Right. So they destroyed churches, they destroyed other ruins, right? They would well, any, set things on fire. Yeah, like just anywhere ISIS w- was in control, they destroyed. You know whether it was Christian, I know you know they destroyed some like uh, was it Buddhist right? That's why statues said, that's what that said, were like it had been there for like a thousand years or whatever. Um, insane amount of just you know artifacts um, uh, that they would destroy. What makes this what makes this article uh, uh, so interesting is is that. Um, so just kind of, I'll just kind of give you the first line here. It was more than two years, ISIS forces who occupied this northern Syrian city paid little attention to the tip of an old gate on an empty mound of land where they dumped trash. They were clueless that the gate ran several feet into the ground down to something they might as well have destroyed had they known. The ruins of an ancient Christian refuge or early church, possibly dating back to the first centuries of Christendom's existence under the Roman Empire. Which is incredible. Yeah. Right. Just just that alone. Not okay, hold on. Not just the fact that um by the grace of God, ISIS didn't find it or didn't see this, but the historical significance of the actual find. Right? Because um it's yeah. so it's it's so funny. I I um I read before I found this article, I read a Facebook post talking about oh I love Secret Church and I, I got pissed. <laughs> Right, and I saw it. I love Secret Church. I got pissed because <clears throat> I don't. It, it, it looked like it was a, a service in a church building right. called Secret Church because it was at nighttime. Like it pissed me off, right? Because I thought of the people who actually have to have Secret Church f- out of fear of being put to death or right. being sent well, to like a, a work camp. Well, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair. What? And this is something that you probably wouldn't know, <laughs> uh, because of because of uh, how you grew up. You know, a lot of a lot of churches will do. They call it secret church, but it's supposed to be, um, like a reminder. It's supposed to be done as a reminder and as a way to kind of help bring more awareness to the the people in the church on how there are Christians that this is how they have to worship. It's I'll not. Bet. It's not supposed yeah. to be like. A, most places that do it. Obviously, right. there's the exceptions, right? But most of the time, that's kind of the, that's what it's supposed to be. It's but supposed to sh- be kind should, of like They a, should do it in the woods then. They should get like lanterns and do it in the woods. Well, no, because because that's not how that's not how secret church is done in some places. Some places is in a building, it's whatever. But it's just supposed to, you know, you do it at night, you do it with the lights, you know, they do it with the lights out. They might use music, like... um like uh, just a guitar, like just a guitar, just, just yeah. Hands. Or they might, or they might just not you know, use any music. It just depends. Um, they've done it with like VBS before, where they'll they'll have. Um, I remember several years ago they had a VBS where they did kind of like a thing where they taught the kids about you know how Christians, some Christians have to worship silently and and um, in secret. Nah. You know, so so there I, is. I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah, I, so it made it made it seem like it was. Um, 
Like another another gimmick. Right. So it's you know, so it so there is there is an actual uh thing about about awareness to it. You know, the problem is is that if it's something you know, like anything, if it's something that's done every year, then it kind of for some people they they kind of forget the reason right. why they're doing it. And so they love it because it's different, but they forget you know, and and I'm sure they're reminded when they go. You know, no, no, this isn't just because it's cool to like do an acoustic set in, with candles. <laughs> you know, in like in the one Sunday school room, like there's a there's a you know there's a reason we do it this way. It's to re- to remember that there are Christians that have to worship in secret. You know, all across. Right. So go ahead. Continue. All across the world. So, um, with that with that, uh, where was I? Yeah. So no. So they found. So it was just these ruins. Um, uh, the ISIS guys did not find it. Uh, and so, uh, the guy, the guy that found it, like he had known about it. I think they said for like two, for like the two years that they were under ISIS occupation and he had to keep it secret and he couldn't go to it to explore it, to, you know, to dig out, um, dig it out. What they found was just these ruins, like an altar. They found doorways. They found passageways. They found what looked like to be secret secret entrances and secret exits. And um, um, they found a spot where they had a look of crosses. Yeah, and then they found a spot where you would that would like a lookout would be, so that if mm-hmm. they came, they could they could disperse because this thing dates dates to the Roman era, but it dates to the Roman times before uh, Christianity was was made okay to to, to practice in the Roman Empire. Right. So this was like. Pre, pre, uh, what's his name? Like uh, around the times of Nero, right? Where, where Christians were being put to death, were being fed to lions, were being persecuted and hunted down. Yeah, Constantine. Yeah. So this is it. it goes back as you know up up through where when you were before it was de- decriminalized by Emperor Constantine. Right. So so you're talking before they, then. They showed um. Yeah. They show pictures. They show pictures, um, and we'll we'll post this article on the website. But they showed pictures of like. Um, tunnels, yes, right. That led to like scattered um, openings in different areas of the city, so that they can escape. And if doorways. They, they found, found um, I think, in this one they found because they found a, a second site, and they so they even found places like burial grounds within under here where they might have buried. Looks like they might have buried the priests. Yeah, and they found you know, they, in secret. They found an altar that was split in three for three candles, which the assumption is that it was for the the Trinity. Right, in, in honor of the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, um, <coughs> or it could have just been, you know, decoration. You know, I mean, you, we don't really know. We don't know yet, but it's it's always very cool when when uh, when these kind of discoveries. And like I said, then they found a second site that looked like it was around, might have been around after uh, Christianity was decriminalized in the Roman Empire because they found very you know very specific crosses and they they found right. you know uh etchings that would would denote yes this is a christian place whereas before uh you wouldn't so that's always cool to see and like i said we'll have it up and it was on fox news you know you could probably look up ancient christian ruins discovered and uh this will be one of the articles that pull up and the second article it's just a very quick article i know real quick real quick oh. uh, a quote from the guy that um oh. one of the guys that found them Right, it says we are Muslim, but we are not like ISIS Muslims. He says, we take care of these Christian ruins and we respect them, right? And we respect humanity, right? That it's pretty dope because you would think, you know, as as because of ISIS, right? right because of ISIS, you would think that they would either destroy them or just keep them hidden, not tell anybody, right? Right? They don't have to destroy them, just you know, don't tell anybody. But you know, it was it was pretty dope that they yeah <clears throat> they announced it to the world, so. Yeah, it's very cool, and uh, and it was so cool reading this guy. I was like super excited to finally be able to go in and explore, um, and whatnot. So that was fun. Now this is kind of the this is the hey man, well, I'm we we'll have to come up with a name for a segment. Just maybe like hey man, don't be a dumb dumb or something. So <laughs> so this story comes from the Independent, um, uh, out of the out of the UK, <clears throat> and this is this is the headline. Man, in quotes, trying to take selfie dies after being mauled by a bear. So what we have here is in India, uh, this guy, and in, in, uh, 
you know what? It's the Nambaranga per district of Odisha. And I know I messed all of that up um, in India. So uh, there's this group, and they, uh, they were going home on the way from a wedding, and they stopped to use the bathroom. And so they see this bear. And so, <laughs> so what kills me is, is that they see an injured bear. It wasn't just a bear. They see an injured bear. And people tell this guy, the people in, with him, <laughs> the people with him are like, uh, hey, man, I will, I will try to go see that. I will get near that bear. He walked up to the bear, went to take the picture. The bear attacks him. Then a stray dog attacks the bear, trying to, <laughs> try to, I guess, try to help the guy out. Or maybe the dog had beef with the bear. Just saw his <laughs> like saw, saw his moment. Saw his opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that bear that growled at me last <laughs> week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the dog bites the bear. Doesn't do anything. The bear. But piss the bear off. Yeah, even just take the bear off you before. So the bear ends up. And I love I love how they say a stray dog also stepped in. Like he was like you know like uh, like if somebody stepping in to break up a fight right, right like uh, like the dog was like the dog was like it's like hey fellas Ray, fellas Ray, fellas I have to help I have to help that man <laughs> um all the dog also stepped in bit the bear but its intervention I love that its intervention failed to deter the large animal <laughs> the, the forest ranger said Mister Bahatara <laughs> in quotes died on the spot. So, I mean, it's sad that a man dies. So we're not, you know, the, yeah, we're not laughing the fact that a man, that died. a man, right. it, the that's, whole situation though, that's messed up. But, but, I mean, what, <laughs> where have we come as a society, right, where you see a bear, where you see a wild animal, and the first thing that pops in your head is, hey, I should take a selfie with this thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a selfie with this large animal that can like have you not seen destroy um, me what was that the name of the the leonardo DiCaprio movie the revenant the revenant no <laughs> i have not, not seen i have not revenant? seen the revenant you haven't seen the revenant not yet i own it i haven't seen it yet <laughs> i see the rep because of the revenant i see a bear cub i'm running away <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, oh, look at that cute bear cub. Selfie. No. Yeah. I see a bear cub. I don't care how cute it is. I'm running away. Yeah. I only want to see bears in TV. That's it. And and or, then, or, or in the zoo. And then it then the, then it was interesting. Then the article goes on to talk about just how other people have died, like doing dumb stuff, trying to get selfies, trying to take a selfie. You know, and so um Listen, I, there, there used to be this thing, and I think they're still around, called the Darwin Awards, which is, I don't I know if you that. remember them, right? It was like where, where people would do something so monumentally stupid that they ended up killing themselves. And so it's kind of like the natural selection, right? They were, except, except they were naturally selecting themselves out of, out of humanity. Guys, the selfie's not that important. If you see an injured bear, stay away. If you're in the middle of a, a hurricane, you know, don't go outside to take a selfie to say, you know, hey, hurricane 2000, you know, hashtag hurricane 2018. Stay away. The last thing about this story, which killed me, was they said the bear was being treated for his injuries. So, <laughs> so the, <laughs> the bear was hurt. Maul's a guy. They're going to treat the bear for his injuries. Well, in defense, they couldn't treat the guy for his injuries. No, <laughs> no, they could not. So that's kind of our, oh, my goodness, what are you thinking, guy? Story of the week. That might be the, that might be the name of these crazy stories. Um, and mm. so, so with all that. No, we got to come up with something better than that. Of course. Of course. But so we've got ancient Christian ruins. Look that up. It's great. We got a guy that gets himself killed trying to take a selfie with an injured bear. Not so great. Uh, new release today. <clears throat> Album came out last week. Um, but we want to we wanna shout it out this week. And we might actually talk about it in the weeks to come. Because some, there was some really good stuff in there. 
Andy Mino uh, dropped his uh, his newest EP. Um, what was it called? I completely the arrow. I completely blanked out. Called the arrow, and if you have not listened to it, uh, go check it out. It's all over the place. Spotify, YouTube, everywhere. Uh, Google Play, uh, iTunes Music, all that stuff. So go check it out. It's very, very, very. It's a very good album, and it's a, it's probably. Uh, not probably. I would say it is Andy's probably it is Andy's most um probably raw, right? Open. Right. Open, honest. Honest uh you know, because he's he's definitely dealing with he's sharing the kind of the things that he's he's been he's been dealing Yeah, you dealing know, with. it's it's funny, um well it's not funny, but well it's not funny, ha ha. <laughs> um that um he puts out he put this out last week, right? He dropped it last week, and um, yeah, you found uh, the commentary that he that he had dropped before he put out the album, and we talked about it, right? We 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 didn't talk about it. We just yeah, okay. We we talked about it, but real real, real quickly, um, and um, and then. He drops the EP, right? It's six songs. Well, like five and a quarter, right? Because the first one is like an intro. But as you said, right, he's very raw with his emotions. Yes. Raw with his struggles. And very transparent. Which is something that now in any music, right? In any genre of music, Christian music, um, it's rare. Right, it's rare. You you rarely see somebody like really exposed. Well, yeah, pro- I would say I, you know what? It's probably not as rare as we think, but it's rare because it's of somebody of of his probably fame. because of stature and status, yeah. right? So, um, yeah. So props props to 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 Minio for that. But um, and and, <laughs> and this will be a good segue, right? Ooh. But um, last week, Ooh. last week. I I dropped a ninety seconds devotional on on introspection because I was which you can find on Apple Music, Google Play, <laughs> Stitcher, and this is, and, and and this this is, is our credit credit com. Com, right? But the deal is that remember I had a conversation with you on how yes on how like a lot of leaders or Christian leaders in the church now are using like. Um, distressed jeans and t-shirts and things like that and they're being criticized from by people outside the church right yeah because, we talked about that right la- last last week. week and and that got me into thinking well outside and inside right, yeah outside and inside and you know I, and we mentioned how and I mentioned how you know I've been doing that for years but um like I left here I left here thinking about thinking about all that right and thinking about a bunch of things, you know, with me in, in, in my time of ministry. And, dude, right? So I, I put out, it's slightly longer than 90 seconds this time, right? Um, that was but, like 96 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> those four seconds. I will never get those four seconds back. But anyway, um, right? And um, Andy drops this this EP, which, which is also a very introspective EP. Right. The thing the difference is that <laughs> he put his introspection in music and I did not. Um right. Because it would be very like angry death metal screamo type stuff. And no no one, <laughs> and likes no, that. And no one wants no, to hear well, that. Well no, no one wants to hear that. <laughs> <clears throat> right? But the deal is that we're gonna talk about introspection today, right? Because um I'm sorry. I was you say that screamo death metal screamo, like. But I thought with like a <laughs> with like a dash of salsa, so like this salsa death metal screamo stuff. Oh, that sounds horrible, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find some. All right, go ahead. <laughs> You're so stupid. If you do share it, um, <laughs> right? We're gonna we're gonna talk about introspection, right? Because like in doing that, and me in, in me doing that with myself, 
right? I was able to um, see a lot of places in my life and a lot of things that, you know, in my 25 plus years of ministry that I've held on to that were not healthy, right? That were not good, right? Correct. Because, um, you know, we can, we sometimes we say things and we, um, we, we throw on a mask or we throw on an act and in reality, right? And, and, and it's probably not an act, right? Because um, I really didn't know that certain things affected me the way they did until I started digging deeper within myself. And, and the thing is that, you know, <laughs> we're called to be salt and light, right? We're called to be salt and light. So we are called to be salt and light. And if our light is dim, then it's a dim light that we're bringing, right? right? But we need to know that our light is dim, and we need to know what is making it dim, right, so that we can ask Christ to come in to those dim places and shine out the, the right. darkness. Replace the batteries, the shadows, as it right? were. Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk about introspection. Um, I, and, and, and I don't think... I don't think even in, in all my years of ministry and all my years of reading and studying the Bible and whatever that um that the Bible talks about introspection specifically right. right but um Solomon and his dad David if you read um Ecclesiastes there's a lot of self-reflection yes right and a lot of introspection there Examples, David, forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. A whole lot of self reflection and introspection, right? And um we can use these as examples on you know in using this as a tool for um for self cleaning. Yes. Right, for self cleaning, for um for soul care, right? Because I I don't think soul care is is I'm sorry. Well, okay, let me just let me just be nice and and give a blanket statement. I don't think that soul care, the 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 act of soul care, is taught in many Spanish churches, right? And I say that because I grew up in a Spanish church and it was never talked about, right? So right, right. I don't want to say that it's not talked about at all because I don't know every single Spanish church that's in the world, right? But right. Well, I mean, it, it you could probably it's a it could be a fair statement that it's probably not taught in a lot of churches. Period, you know, full right. stop. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll agree with that, right? But the um, as 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 I was in this bit of introspection, right? The verse that came to me was, "For where your treasure is, there your heart." The amplified says, "Your heart, your wishes, your desires, that in which your life centers, will be also right." And I, and and I use the amplified because. It's amplified. <laughs> it's, it's amplified. Right? It's not just, you know, you know, there your heart it will be also, you know, we, we think about the things that we love, right? But not the things that that we dream about, right? According to the amplified, right? It could also be the things that you dream about, the things that you aspire to. Mm, okay. Right. And and the thing is and the thing is that, you know, when <clears throat> right, when you're forty four years old, right? Man, that's so <laughs> when you're 44 years old and you can say something like, you know, I'm 44 and I've been in ministry for over 25 years, right? That's like half your life. Well, half my life, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, almost like, it's just like half my life, a little more than half my life, yeah. right? But still, right, um, you expect, right, you expect to be at a place or at a level, or at a, or some recognition that you're not right, right? That you're not like when I think about the fact that, um, <laughs> and I'm not dropping this name for anything other than to um, explain where I, where where I was, where my mind was, and where my heart was at that at that time. Um, when I say when when I think about the fact that I grew up with someone like Sammy Rodriguez, right? who right now like has been to the White House, has done the prayer at the White House with both Obama and now Trump, right? Who has shared 
platforms with T.D. Jakes and all these other people. Like when I mention that I grew up with Sammy Rodriguez to uh, to PC to Pastor Charles, like he was like, because he I think he mentioned him. Yeah, he did. He mentioned him because Sammy was one of the speakers at T.D. Jakes's uh, conference, Manpower. Okay, and um, he wanted he wanted to go, so he wanted to take me and another one of the leaders to to Texas to go to Manpower. And I was like, oh, and you, hey. And one of your fellow P. Reekins is gonna be there. And he's gonna be he's gonna be speaking. I was like, oh yeah, who? And then he mentioned Sammy Rodriguez. And I was like, oh, that's dope. I grew up with Sammy. Like for me, I mentioned it like like conversation, like nothing. I was like, what? You grew up with him? Huh? Well, you need to reconnect with him. I was like, like why? Like, in my head, I'm like, it's just Sammy. Right? Right. And and then when I researched, you know, I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> it's like, yo. Yeah. He don't remember me. Right? This, <laughs> he don't remember me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I uh, it's funny because I called Ray, right? I called Ray and I was like, hey, did you know about Sam? He's like, yeah, yeah. Forget him, Papa. He forgot all about us. He <laughs> 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 don't know who we are. <laughs> I, I, try, I hit him up on Facebook and like he won't come back to me until like months later. It's like, dang. You know, you from the hood too, so you forget where you come from, right? <laughs> not, not that he actually did that, but still, right? You think of that, or I think of that, and I'm like, well, you know, and it, and it's real easy because right. we're people, right? And it's real easy for me to like, yo, where am I at? Why am I not? Yeah. I'm not, not at that level because I don't want to do no prayer in the White House, right? Or right? At, at but, any level, right? But why am I like not at somewhere, right? Where? I can be invited to to preach at these conferences. Why am I, I not can be at invited. least junior varsity? <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. even care about being varsity. Just junior varsity. Hey, and and it's real easy for you to fall into that trap. I mean, thank God that I'm 44 and I have over 25 years of ministry where I can say where I can recognize them for the traps that they are. But not everybody can do that, right? Right. A lot of people see that and they'll think that, and that will dig roots into their heart. And right, it's a downward right. spiral. We, like we said before, yeah, because we tend to view fame, you know, quote unquote fame, um, as blessing. Right. You know, as like, oh well, I'm because I've because I've gained this platform, then that that must mean that. Yeah, and and there and there is such a thing as as Christian famous, right? There is such a thing as right. Christian famous, right? That, that nobody. That nobody lie to themselves or lie to you and say that there isn't. There is such a thing as Christian famous, right? Within the church or within the body or within the kingdom, <clears throat> there's fame that you can't put these guys in the outside world and they'll have the same fame. Well, there are exceptions like uh, Judah Smith or Carl Lentz or I'm, I'm going to just leave it at that. Right. <laughs> or, 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 or Billy Graham. Or, or Billy Graham or Rich Wilkerson, yeah. right? Or David Wilkerson. Um, who's gone now, right? But um, you know, there is such a thing as rich, as as rich, as Christian famous, right? Right, and um, and I've experienced that, but um, not at like vast levels or great levels, but you know, in my the organization that I grew up in, the organization of churches of Rio Boas, right? Within that organization, I was Christian famous. Waskar was Christian famous. Right, we went to any church within our organization, and like we were like recognized and lauded on. I remember being seventeen and going to the um, we had like a a dis not a district meeting, but yeah, like like uh, damn, what's it called? A, a, in Spanish, it's campaña. In English, it's not a campaign because that doesn't translate properly. But it was um, a meeting. An organizational meeting where all the pastors and all the churches of the Hillbolt Church Council, whether you were in New York or if you were flying in, right, right they had services and like the business part of organization for a weekend. I remember coming into one of the big services on the, on a Saturday night, right? It's just 17 years old. I'm just trying to find my place to sit. And one of the like one of the big time revered pastors sees me, he's up in the pulpit because, you know, it's a Spanish church, so everybody had thrones. So he's up in the pulpit on one of his thrones, and he calls me over. Right? He calls me up to the front, and he has me sit down 
on on an empty throne that was next to his. Right. Right. And this is like while service was going on in front of everybody. Right. So it's not like, you know, I went up there, hey, Pastor. Ray. Like I'm walking in and he sees me from far away and he calls me over. Right. So of course I my chest puffed out a little more. Right. right. I walked up and with I've my seen head pictures high, of you, you know at seventeen. I mean? You were real skinny. So that that, <laughs> oh, so that, real ch- that chest didn't really pop out that much. <laughs> 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 didn't really puff out that much. But you, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> you know, you you. It's it's real easy for you to feel like you've like you've gotten somewhere. Yeah, like you arrived, right? You know, like you've gotten somewhere, right? You know what I mean? And um, and and you know, everybody who exalts themselves, you know, God God tumbles, God knocks down, not tumbles. God knocks down, right? So yeah, I got knocked down, but still, you know, you think of these things, and it's real easy for those thoughts to poison your heart so the <laughs> the funny thing is i'm doing this devotional right and while i'm doing the devotional, i'm talking about you know i'm not gonna lie and say that it hasn't crossed my heart because right. because it has many times right many times and um and right there right there i remembered who god is right i remember who god is because and i, I don't say this a lot but um a lot of right i'm connected Right, I'm connected to a lot of Christian artists as far as hip hop and some in um, CCM. Right? right, and if not connected directly to them, then a few degrees of separation. Right, like I don't know Toby, I don't know Toby Mac, but I'm friends with his drummer and his guitar and his bass player. Right, right. So there's there's some access. Right, I'm friends with Michael Tate from the Newsboys. Right, so there's some access. Right, and his cousin that we met last year. Right, so there's 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 access, but I'm friends with a lot of, um, uh, especially um, Christian hip hop, but right, the Baron, um, sorry, DJ Four Twelve. We I was talking to him the other day, and he was like, you know, it's like Jay, if you would only use, right, use like like take advantage of everybody that you know and all these connections that you know, like you blow up, right? right. And I'm like, yeah, dude, but I don't want to blow up, right? Because you know, I don't. I don't I don't need that extra attention. I don't want that. I don't want that. But, but some, I'm not going to lie. Some, well, right. Some part of me actually does, right? right. Because we crave that attention. But, right. Um, right. But I think, I think it's the thought process is sometimes more like, you know, I don't, I mean, if we're honest with ourselves, uh, yeah, I've thought about that. Uh, I would love to blow up. Hmm. Right. But then <clears throat> I think this, and this is where like maturity comes in, right? Is, the maturity is I'm not going to use whatever connections I have to blow up because then it is, it is done out of selfishness, right? right? Out of pride. If, if I were to quote unquote blow up, whatever that means, Mm -hmm. right? Whatever, however that looks, looks, you know, I want to do it because, you know, I was serving God on my little podcast. I was serving God. On Legacy Nights, I was serving God with my 90 seconds and being faithful to those three things, let's say, right? If that allows if that allows me to to gain in the plat- on a platform, right? To gain a platform. That's different, right? Than and I think and I think you you I think you cherish that a little more sometimes, you know. Because you, you, it's something that that happened without you, right? Pursuing right. it as your as your end all be all. <clears throat> yeah, and you know, like whenever whenever Bean sees like a a social club video, right, or he sees an Uzuhan video, right, it's almost like he reminds me, right, because or <laughs> or Shanlock video. Like he reminds me, you know, because he sees the video, he sees these people, and he recognizes them, right? And he'll see them, and he's like, "Hey, that's Theo, right? Theo means uncle, so that makes them family, right? So it's like, you know, you don't use your family, right? Right? Or at least you, or you shouldn't. You shouldn't, <laughs> right? You shouldn't, right? Yeah, right? You don't, you know. He heard that he didn't even see. In one of the Spotify mixes that 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 we have, um, he heard an Uzu song, and he recognized the song and the voice, and I was like, "That's Steel, right?" So it's like you know, 
it's it's a reminder, you know, and 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 and, and you you know this because whenever we do the grill and chills, you know, sometimes people show up, right? Right. And and it's never, you know, a fangirling thing, and it's never, uh, hey, look who we know. Oh, look, look who's right. friends with us. Like who's in my house, right? Right. You know, I mean, I haven't done that yet because because <laughs> it, it hasn't been uh, no benefit to it yet. <laughs> 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 right. and, and 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 it's almost like one of the things whenever like artists come to the house it's first names right like, it's not artist names it's first names that's like a that's like a rule that's like a rule for the grilling chills you know you know you come you grill and you chill you know this you're not you're not an artist when you come in here and whatever right, right? but um but yeah it's e- it's real easy I, I i said it i think i mentioned it last week that um you know, for like for the podcast, you know, yes, there was a time last season or last season, last year, I don't know how we're going to start calling this now, where um, we covered God culture, right? And we had different guests, right? right? Or when we um, had um, Sam Ock as a guest, right? And that's fine, right? We bring them in. We had Whitney, well, well, Hector, we had Chino, right? And it's fine, and we can do that, but it'll be, it's, <laughs> it's like when Junie, it's like when Junie, when I asked Junie, you know, when I asked Junie, well, do you, do your friends know that, like, for your birthday, when you turn 16, like, we did a concert with Cannon, like, Cannon came by and threw a concert, right, for your birthday, like, do they know that, like, your friends who are fans of Cannon, it's like, No. It's like, why don't they know? Dude, why don't they know? It's like, because then they'll be my friends because, like, my dad's friends with Canon or Social Club or whatever, right? And it's not because they think um, I'm cool or they think that I'm a nice guy, right? And, and like, that that was like a, like a kick to the head, right? It's like, it's humbling, right? right? And, 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 it, and I'm pretty sure we mentioned it last week, like, real easy. Really easy to like call up NF, right? Yo, NF, I want you to be a part of my podcast. Like, when can you call in or when can we call you so we can interview you for the podcast, right? And then throw out there NF on the Overflow podcast, right? Right? And everybody will will hate me, right? Well, because <laughs> I'll be like, well, why are you so dark, son? Right? But that's <laughs> fine. But still, just be, you know, we'll drop NF interview Overflow podcast, right? And like our listenership will just blow up for that right? episode, just yes. for that episode, right? It'll blow up, and we can keep doing that. Hey, Social Club, the next one, like we can turn this into an artist interview podcast, and it'll yes. blow up very easily. But I don't want to do that. That's my goal. I mean, right? no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that, right? And 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 it's not because it's not because they'll say no, right? It's because like you know, and, and you and I, we've talked because we've had these conversations. And we've talked about this, you know. We want the podcast to focus more on what we're doing now. On us. Right? <laughs> on, <laughs> on, on, on the teaching, on the teaching portion of it. Yes, the first half of it, we're geeking out on news. We're geeking out on movies and comic books. We're stuff fighting and like an old married couple. Right? You know, all kinds of things. <laughs> all that stuff. And that's the entertainment factor, right? We hope. <laughs> or you feel <laughs> really do. awkward. Right. Uh, you know, we introduced new music, right, with the song of the week and stuff like that, right? And then, you know, we focus on the teaching. The teaching for us is the most important part. Right. That if we, that if this podcast were to blow up, let it be because you know people are are being spoken to, they're being touched, they're being reached, being fed, they're being fed through this teaching portion, right? Yeah. And um, and right, I'm 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 thinking like, yo, like as soon as I thought of it, yeah, it's crossed my heart. But man, but 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 God must always remain God, right? God must always remain God, and that's why that verse came to me, right? Because if in your heart that is your only desire, right, right, then that's what you treasure, right? That's what you love more than anything else, right? And if you love, <laughs> and if you love something, and you make something the center of your life over over God. Right, then that thing becomes your mammon, right? right? That thing becomes your god, right? Which you know, which uh, it's talked about 
So it's funny, right? Because you just said that. Verse 19, if we just go up a couple of verses, do not, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroy, where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. And I think, you know, um, in, in all the things that we do, is, is we always have to be careful about what we're building on earth. Right. You know, it's okay. You know, I, I think I think it's okay to pursue certain things and to try to build certain things on earth. But if it's, but if that's the, if that's, I think the problem is that in a way, if we're unguarded, if we don't have people around us that are going to be real with us, then that becomes the end goal, right? So you get into that situation where it's like, uh, you know, hey, God, I did all these things for you. And he's like, well, I never knew you. Right. right. You, it, like the, like the, the rich young ruler, right. right, who said, you know, well, I've kept the commandments since I was a kid. Yeah, all this, I've studied yeah. Torah. I've done this. I've done that. I've done that. And God was like, okay, <laughs> okay, well. Will you give up, sell everything that you have, and give right. to the poor? Because that's in Torah, right? And, and it's like, uh, right? yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and let follow me think me. about it. He's <laughs> like, yeah, let me get back to you. My right? people will call your people. <laughs> yeah, and then what Jay said at the end, no one, no one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. And I think a lot of times, you know, we, if we're not careful, we find ourselves trying to serve both, you know, where we think, well, if we make this money, we can serve God. Or if we make, if or, we, or if we, we, we serve God, this, we're going to we get this, this status. Money. Yeah. Or we, we reach this status, then right, we make excuses for ourselves, right? If I get this platform and reach this status, then I can do more for God. Right. And we've, and we've talked about that before because that, no, that's, cause that's, that's not, that's, that's, that's not, one of, that's not Bible. It's one of our things that gives our crawl, you know, like, <laughs> Things that gets in your craw, that's one of those things for us, right? right? When that's, people... not, that's not scripture. Scripture says, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. Right. Right? So if you're seeking first your desire, whatever that is, right, right, then that is what your life is centered on. That is what your focus is centered on. And it's taken away from seeking first the kingdom of God right. and all of God's righteousness. Right. And the problem is, is not so much seeking your desire that the problem is. You know, if you desire to be an architect, right, you, you, you seek that, right? But it's, I think it's two things, right? Number one is when you, when you, it's, it's don't lie to me, right? <laughs> don't lie to me and to yourself. And, you, you can lie to yourself all and, you want. And, and don't tell, lie to and, me. <laughs> and tell me, and tell me it's that you're doing it because you want people to know about Jesus, Right. Just be honest. Look, I want to be an architect. Don't say, well, you know, I want to be an architect so I can build churches so people can come worship God. No, you know, just be honest. I mean, now, if that's true, right, then, you know, then the fruit of that will, will be born. Correct. But the problem is that, uh, the, the things that we've come across a lot of times is, is that you can tell. You can tell the difference between someone that's pursuing something that God is, has placed in their heart. And and they're pursuing it wholeheartedly, and they're willing to they're willing to stop on a dime, and shift, mm -hmm. right? Then the guy that's pursuing and pursuing because he's trying to build this thing. He's you trying know, to build a kingdom. My dad knew. I, my dad when he was in seminary met this guy who was like a doctor, pretty successful guy, the doctor, medical doctor. Stopped being a doctor to become a pastor, mm. like just, you know. Boom! Turned. Yeah, that that is like the ultimate, turned on a dime. The ultimate test, right? Right. Which brings again, like the story of the rich young ruler. That is the ultimate test. Okay, you have this success. You have all these things, right? You say you're doing it for God, right? If God were to tell you, you know, would you Stop. sell off everything that you have and give it to the poor? Yep. Right. Pick up your cross and follow me. Right. If you go, mm, <laughs> right? You make right. That, that Kevin Hart face. Mm, yeah. Right then, yeah. you know then. Then, that's, then where is your heart? That, that's where your heart is. Where's your treasure? That's right. where your treasure is. Also, right. right. So, to so I'm I'm thinking all that, and like right away, right away, the reminder, the conviction, right? God must always be at the core of everything, right? Yeah. God must always be at the center of everything, right? And um, like I I enjoy like no lie, I enjoy I I I I, I take great joy. 
in helping other people, right, who have a, a desire. And I can tell by how they speak to me that they right. really want to do things for the sake of ministry and for kingdom rather than for themselves because the ones that want to do it for themselves, I don't help them. And if I do help them, I charge them a lot of money, right? right. But, if, but if not, like, you know, I help people out. I, I enjoy helping people, you know, reach their goals or, you know, build their dreams or reach their dreams, right? Right. And, and no no name dropping, but I've done it with a few people. And um, I like that. I like being that guy, right? Right. I like being that guy because in, in the end, if it's all to advance the kingdom and if it's all to, you know, um, fulfill our mission, right, our mission as a church, as a church body, right, then, you know, all hands on deck, right? We should all be focused on the same thing. Right. But... I mean, can you thought you and I both know and we know people where it's not. Right. Right? It's not. It's not. And um and and like you said earlier, right, you know, about you know, having people to check you and keep you accountable, right? It's very important, right? Because I have those people. <laughs> and it's funny because I've got people that tell me the contrary, yes. Yes, you need to use all your connections and, you know, right. get up there. And then I've got Joaquin, <laughs> who throws me back down to the floor, right? Okay, cool. But, 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 you know, as an example, as an example, um, this whole um, new release today podcast network thing, right? Right. It's not something that we pursued. Yeah, it's something, yeah. Right? It's not something that... It's not something that I pursued, much less something that I knew about, right? Like, Kevin never told me that he had this idea that he was thinking about. And I'm like, and I was like, well, remember, um, we have a podcast, right? Right, yeah. It's remember not, the Overflow yeah. podcast. Don't forget the Overflow podcast, right? The, the phone call. I, I got a text. Hey, I got to talk to you about something. All right, cool. And then I wrote something on Facebook. And he commented on Facebook, which reminds me, I need to talk to you about something. I was like, all right, well, then call me. Like, we're friends. Call me. Right? And then he called me, and he mentioned this. And it just, like, blew yeah. me. Like, it blew my mind. Right? Because we've had him on the podcast. Like, he knows that we're <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, yeah. He's he's hung out with us, which is even scarier. That's, um, that's no, true. yeah, we, and, that, and that's we, the thing. I mean, you we've know, we... late night cruise pizza. Yeah, we've talked about... You know, we've always talked about, you know, what can we do to be better? What's funny is that we got, you know, we haven't sat through it yet, but we got this uh, webinar. What's funny is we got the webinar because I was like, oh, man, I found this webinar. I think it'll be good. It's by somebody who's very successful doing podcasts. You know, what can we learn to, to, to make, you know, to get better, right? Because it's always the goal. The goal should always be to get better. And like a week later, right, it's like we get the call. From, from Kevin saying, hey, you know, this is what we're doing. This, and we would like for you to be a part of it. And so, um, you know, it was like, oh, my goodness. You know, so I feel like, I feel like you know, it, it's, you know, we don't know how this is going to end. We're excited because it's just an opportunity that we were not expecting. Yeah, and we're also excited because and it's, and what, it's, whatever, whatever Kevin saw in us and saw in our podcast, that we don't see, we're grateful. Yes, and and you know, and it's because we get to we're gonna get to partner with somebody that we genuinely like, you know, as a person, right? You know, um, kind of kind of a situation, um. But you know, I also feel a part of me also feels you know this is see when you when you work little by little and you try to improve and you try to do things the right way, that's when all these the different things begin opening up for you. And and it's not because we were pursuing this thing. We were just pursuing to be to to get better at what we're doing now. Right? We're not dreaming, oh, a million listeners. We're dreaming, let's be the best for like the five people that listen to us or the seven people that listen to <laughs> us, right? Consistently. Let's try to get better for them. Not let's try to get better so we can say that we got a million people listen to us. Now that'd be awesome. I ain't gonna front. I don't even know 
if I want that responsibility. No, that would be amazing. <laughs> but that's not. But ultimately, that's not the. That's not our end goal. Yeah, that's not. That's not. It's a byproduct of what we're trying to accomplish. That's not why we started with the little bit of responsibility podcast. we have. That's not why we started this podcast. Right. We started this podcast because we wanted to talk. Yes. <laughs> and put it out in the ether. Right. We wanted to talk. Or not even. We started this podcast because we love to talk, so we figured we'd record it and just put it out there for people to have an opinion on. For Angel to listen and <laughs> text us while he's listening to it, calling us dumb. And that's it. <laughs> right? It wasn't so. like, like we never did anything for this, right? So, right? And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna close it down. We're going to shut it down with this, right? It's very important. It's very important. We want you, the takeaway that we want everyone that's listening to have is that it's very important for you to Take a look at your walk. Take a look at your your relationship with God, right throughout the years, and you know through that bit of introspection, find out not what you've been doing wrong, but find out the things that may cause you to stumble, right, and and pray Christ into those things, right. Pray the Holy Spirit into those things, so that you can be healed, right, and you can move on. Because sometimes there are things that we don't know we have until we think about them. And I would just add, instead of worrying about the larger picture, one of my mantras has always been, do what you can with what God has given you at this moment. Yes. Let him let Him sort out the rest. Yes. So, hey, glad you joined us. We'll catch y'all next week. My name is yep. Joaquin. I'm still Jay. And this is the Overflow Podcast. Thanks for listening. Remember to head on over to thisisoutcry.com for more content. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, or Stitcher.